I'm a new man. Cause nothing hits like a hammer. Oh man. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we got Barker out on the lane throwing the new hammer dark web. If you saw our review last week, you saw Barker throw the stealth from track. He's back on the same lane throwing the dark web against the web pearl. Now let's talk about the specs. This dark web features the aggression solid cover stock, which is also featured on the Black Widow 2.0. So different from the core in the web pearl, there's a modified version of the spheroid core in this one. Barks is more of an expert on this kind of thing, so he'll explain it more on the lanes. So why are we comparing these two? Well, dark web, web pearl, solid, pearl, hammer, hammer. They're kind of on the same performance level, so we should see a pretty good progression going from this and then to this. Today for our oil pattern, we have a longer oil pattern. It is Route 66. Should be great to show off these stronger bowling balls. Shout out to all of our Jared Pro Shop members. Thank you very much for joining our community. If you want special perks, early access to videos, some coaching, and some free merch, click the join button below. Enough talk, let's watch Barks throw these bowling balls. Barks back once again, this time with the hammer dark web. Now this ball is replacing the infamous, which I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like that ball very much. So hopefully I'm a bigger fan of this one. We're back on 45 foot route 66. We'll stand about 25 out to about nine. All right, so what I'm seeing, if you looked at the last video, if you watched the stealth video, this ball is a little bit longer and more continuous, a little bit more motion in the back end. We got two symmetric solids, but with a little different reaction in each one. I think we're lined up there, but I think we can move a little bit right off of that. Let's move three right and a little forward, because I'm gonna have to slow down and get this ball around the corner. Okay, ball finished pretty well though. Miss a little bit right, but you're gonna have those misses. Creating room for error as we move into the middle of a pattern, especially on a long pattern. Now I do wanna talk a little bit about what's different about this web ball versus the previous ones. So we've taken that existing spheroid core that's been used in a lot of balls in the past, the webs, Bad Intentions, Rodman's, for example, flip that around. So now it's upside down and we've taken the high density piece from the infamous and added that to the top. So we should get a little bit flippier of a ball motion than we've had in the past in the web series. As a result, we also have dot technology. So a little bit more durability. You can drill anywhere without voiding the warranty. So nice little feature they added in there. Now I got that a little bit in, but I think I get a little wider and around it more. I wanna see this baby hook. Yeah, there you go. A little bit further left, recovered really nicely. Got that good mix. I'll take all those. I'm a new man. <laughs> I'm gonna move a couple more right just for fun. We're standing at 31. This is really deep. But I gotta be really slow. And not my best effort. Let's try that again. Let's throw this one a little better because that was not good. Ah, little 6 8. I got that one in though. I deserve that. One more time. All right, now I don't think I can go further right than that because it's not really finishing with any angle. Let's make a little ball change to the web pearl. So we have similar core dynamics, but a little different core shape. We also have a pearl cover, so I think it's gonna be a lot longer, a little less overall hook, and then sharper hook as well. Now I'm probably further right than I need to be, but That's definitely a little bit sharper. I'm not convinced there, but at least I have a chance. Now it's pretty slow and around that one, so I got a little lucky on that hit. I think I need to move a couple more left to kind of square up a little bit more. Let's try that. All 
Okay, I missed a couple boards right, but not a bad result. I don't mind leaving a six pin because I can spare that all day. Let's make sure we get this ball left. Some dry boards out there might actually hook. This ball is growing on me. Much better than the original, I'll tell you that much. That's a weird rack hit, but we'll take it. Cause nothing hits like a hammer. Let's try that again. I thought it was a pretty good shot, but it hit real funny because of the bad rack or something. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so speaking of bad racks, that was almost a pocket 4.7. Personal favorite of mine. This rack looks a little better. Let's try it again. <laughs> I'm definitely more lined up where I'm at. I do want to get one further left, but I got some mystery on the inside, so I'm definitely in the right part of the lane with that ball. One more shot, but I want to get this one left, and hopefully a decent hit on a decent rack. Ah, wanted that one. Ah, that last one was just like that much too fast. Oh, just that little bit too far down the lane on this pattern. It's still pretty fresh on the left side. That ball is just not looking quite right. All right, question time with Barks. Now, as a pro shop operator, I have the opportunity to drill a lot of new balls in a year, but not everyone has that opportunity. So I want to know, how many balls are you purchasing in a year? Let me know down in the comments. And to be totally honest, in this house, like the left side never really breaks down, so I might move like two or three bo boards in a whole league session, so. I'm not totally surprised. The pearl balls don't come out very often. The same line where that web pearl is a little long, so the dark web on top of that. They're just so much better on the fresh. So much better on the fresh. All right, a couple boards right. We'll throw a good one, we'll send it back. Ooh. Let's send it back to the shop. All right, I'm back from the lanes. We're on Route 66. Let's talk a little bit about the dark web. So comparing the dark web to the track stealth from the previous video, uh, definitely a little bit more overall length and a little bit more of a kick down lane. This is a ball I can definitely see a lot of use out of, especially on fresh on longer patterns. So comparing the dark web with the web pearl, you can definitely see this is a ball that really wants to get down the lane and corner a little bit harder, but you definitely need some breakdown of that oil pattern to make it look really good. So the dark web here is replacing the infamous in the upper mid category. The infamous was not a ball that I really loved. I couldn't really find the exact right spot to use it. If you added too much surface, it wanted to roll too early. If you smoothed it out, it wanted to get down the lane too much and didn't really corner that well. I'm not seeing the same thing here at the dark web. This is exactly the type of ball that I've been looking for in that spot and I think I'm gonna get a lot of play out of this one. So going back to the previous video for the stealth, I think that's gonna be my kind of benchmark ball reaction, especially for a symmetric solid. This is gonna fit in when I have a little bit more friction on the lane, so not necessarily here where we bowl, but in other centers where I know they hook a little bit earlier, this ball is gonna be that fresh option for me. A little bit more length, a little bit more shape down lane, not using so much energy so early. As far as who do I recommend it for, I see a ball with a lot of versatility, and I think it's gonna be very good for all styles of bowl. Uh, whether you're a little more rev dominant or a little more speed dominant, you're gonna find a spot where this ball can really work well. I was out there on a long pattern today, it looked really good. I'm gonna experiment a little bit more on some more medium, maybe even some flatter patterns that we bowled on today. But I'm excited to see what this ball can really do on a bunch of different conditions. Comparing the two webs against each other, uh, each is gonna serve its purpose. I think I'm just gonna get a little bit more use, especially on the left side with the dark web here. That being said, if you really like your web pearl and didn't love the infamous like me, this ball is gonna be perfect for you. So we'll wrap it up here, we'll keep it nice and short. Uh, we're not reinventing the wheel with this ball, symmetric solid. With the dark web here, we're taking a proven cover stock. We're doing slight modifications to the core, but we're building off of something that has had success in the past, and this looks like a ball that's gonna be very successful in the future. Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comment section below, how many new bowling balls do you drill in the course of a year? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for all the members who have joined so far. If you'd like to be a part of our community here at JR Pro Shop, hit that join button below. Get special perks, early access to videos, coaching, free merch, and lots more. Thanks for watching everyone. Next video is gonna be Jung coming back with the Idle Cosmos, so stay tuned.